Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to read an article from the Direct which states that a new canonical book as is being released called Shadow of the Sith, which according to the article is just set before the rise of Skywalker. The article states, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker introduced a new development in the timeline to make sense of Rey's origins and her relationship with Palpatine. Unfortunately, it made absolutely no sense in the film and the expanded explanation of these events in the movie's visually, visual dictionary only added to the confusion. There are many holes in the plot, leaving a mess that can't entirely be cleaned. At the centre of, of this narrative are Luke Skywalker and Lando Calrissian who attempted to locate Exegol after hearing murmurings of the Emperor's return. Episode 9 reveals that the two pursued the galaxy's dumbest assassin, Oki of Bestoon, to the desert planet Pasana, where his ship and remains were later found by Rey. The visual dictionary details his death, mentioning that Palpatine's servant got drunk and fell into the cave beneath the quicksand, leading to his death. For their part, Luke and Lando seemingly ended their quest as the last living tie to Palpatine's plot on Exegol, which seemingly destroyed. However, a new novel titled Shadow of the Sith promises to detail everything that transpired in full. The book synopsis strongly suggests the two heroes will come to help Rey and her parents. What follows promises to be a unique adventure that they evade Palpatine's Sith loyalists. During the meditation on Tython's Seeing Stone, Luke is transported by the Force into the Sith Citadel on Exegol. After getting a brief glimpse at a mysterious figure, Luke is attacked by a group of nine warriors wielding lightsabers and he is powerless to stop them. Things seem bleak in his realistic vision, but the emergence of a familiar ghost of Anakin Skywalker saves the day. At long last, Star Wars fans are about to see the first canonical meeting between Luke and the ghost of his father, Anakin Skywalker. The character's description perfectly matches his appearance in Revenge of the Sith, and the final scene of Return of the Jedi once more coming to aid his son in a time of need. With Shadow of the Sith taking place over a decade before the events of The Force Awakens, it is hardly the first time Luke has interacted with Anakin. He first laid eyes on the good man his father truly was at the end of episode 6, but was guided by him during the years to follow. A reference book entitled Secrets of the Jedi written by Luke's perspective notes that he was in contact with Anakin, Obi-Wan and Yoda frequently before his exile. It seems like the excerpt is actually setting up the real mean meeting to follow between father and son. What Luke is experiencing is a vision, something akin to his test in the dark side cave on Dagobah in The Empire Strikes Back after Luke attempts, accepts his father's hand and things go white. He'll be back on Tython where his physical form has been the entire time. At that point, the ghost of Anakin can speak with Luke about what he saw on Exegol, which is problematic. The suggestion in The Rise of Skywalker that Luke knew of Palpatine's survival and the existence of Exegol made his depressive seclusion in the sequel trilogy more damning. With knowledge that the ultimate threat still remains in the unknown regions of the galaxy, Luke's nihilistic outlook and refusal to do anything in The Last Jedi further condemned everyone else to certain doom. The only thing that could have softened the blow was Anakin being unaware of Exegol, but the Darth Vader 2020 comic line has already blown that. Vader was not only aware, but had been to Darth Sidious's lair in on Exegol and witnessed the Death Star destroy a fleet under construction, making it astonishing that Anakin wouldn't mention this to Luke immediately after Return of the Jedi. As messy as everything is, fans will just have to take the stories in stride at this point and try to overlook the glaring inconsistencies. Shadow of the Sith has the makings of a great read despite the irritating story that's required to be told. Luke's centric stories have been lacking in canon and further interactions with Anakin Skywalker can start to scratch the itch that many have had for years. The Shadow of the Sith book will be released in June, which I am assuming will be also be released on Kindle and Audible. I know there are a lot of people who are not sequel trilogy fans, but for those who are, it would be an interesting read. Although I'm not a big fan of the sequel trilogy, 
I will still watch it and I will give this book a read when it comes out and will give my review on this when it comes. Well that's it for now. Please give a like and subscribe to, to my channel and also give a, a comment below on your opinion on the forthcoming book. Until the next time, may the force be with you.